Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft. Um, as you may have seen from a previous video, I've just returned from a wild camp, a three night wild camp, and one of the good things about being my first overnighter is I got to learn a lot about my kit, um, things that I didn't, I hadn't really thought about before. Um, one of the things I want to talk about in this video is my sleep system. Um, what I decided to go for, um, I had the, I had a foam mat underneath the hammock in the actual, um, there's like a little flap underneath, it's a DD travel hammock, there's a little pocket you can unvelcro and slip a, a foam mat in, I had that, and then inside the hammock I had the inflatable mat, and then the sleeping bag I had was the British Army jungle sleeping bag, and just for a bit of um, additional warmth I had a fleece liner inside the sleeping bag. And that worked okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, I could have done with being a little bit warmer. Um, so what I did on the second night is I incorporated a cheap bivy bag, which I thought would just add that a little bit of extra warmth, just keep out the wind, which it did. But there was a lot of condensation inside the cheap bivy bag and it made the outside of my sleeping bag a bit damp, which isn't a good thing. So I've come back now, uh, I've had a chance to think about what I want to do and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little idea that I'm going to try next time I'm uh, camping out and we're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to set that up and show you that now. My idea for this uh, particular setup is to still have the option of the foam mat underneath the hammock in the little pocket. Um, I can have that if I want, if I want a bit of extra warmth but, or, or not, it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm still going to have the inflatable mattress inside the hammock but rather than have that sit directly onto the fabric of the hammock which did cause a bit of condensation between the two what I've decided to do or try is to put the inflatable mat inside this fleece liner And hopefully, this will, um, because it's not sort of material onto material, it's not going to cause as much condensation. That's, that's the theory anyway. So we're going to have the fleece liner over the uh, inflatable, inflatable uh, mattress. And that will then sit inside the hammock. So I've got a nice... Uh, fleece surface touching the hammock which hopefully will reduce the condensation on the bottom. This is what I'm then going to lie on. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that rather than sleep in the bag, sleep under the bag using it like a, uh, like a duvet if you will. So the idea then is to have the sleeping bag unzip but not all the way, just sort of down to there, just to create a kind of foot box area. And then I just move that up there. We have the sleeping bag there. And then this will fit inside the bottom end of the sleeping bag, like that. this bit will come round like that. I'm just doing this quickly now just to demonstrate and obviously we're going to sort this out. So at that end you can see everything's down to the end. You've got your foot box area there and then uh, this this has got and you can see that this has got a draw cord so if I wanted I could just pull that up round the end there. I've still got that if I wanted to stick my head in there if I wanted to. So I've now got a nice warm surface to sit on and when I'm getting into the hammock I can, I'll, I'll get into the hammock and rather than have to, if this was all the way up here 
this is what I found while I was on my first overnighter. I was shuffling about, trying to pull this down, I'm trying to get my feet in, and especially if you haven't got a zip, if it's one of those mummy sleeping bags that doesn't have a zip, you're really going to struggle. So with this idea, I would literally get into the hammock, swing the legs around, pull it over, and I'm in. And it's just like a, that would just come over me like a duvet. I could have a pillow if I wanted, a hat, woolly hat. I'm in there, and hopefully that's going to be quite warm. If required, I can still pull that up. Once I'm in, I can still pull it up. So I am now sealed, but again, getting out. You know, if it's a mummy sleeping bag, you're going to struggle to get out. You're going to have to pull this, you're going to have to wriggle out, but with the zip on the side, I've got the option to zip it up. I can throw it down, over, and straight out. And that, I found, uh, at the time, was a lot of faffing about. Getting out of the sleeping bag, getting out of the fleece liner. It was a lot of messing around, and you don't want that, especially if you have to go to the toilet in the night. So this way, in, zip it up if I want to, and just sitting here now I can feel how warm that is, it's a lovely warm surface, um, if you wanted some additional warmth you can always wear the fleece sort of long johns, top and bottoms, um, which is like being in a fleece liner but obviously it's all around you and uh, it moves with you which is a lot better. This system can also be used with a slightly warmer sleeping bag, this is the jungle version, um, but if you wanted to use the same system, you just get a similar sleeping bag with a zip down the side, but slightly warmer uh, comfort rating. And I think that is going to be a lot better system, and that's the system I'm going to be using on my next trip. Now another thing you can do with this system, is with it all being contained like that, is if required, you can just fasten that up. If you've got your hammock set up and you want to move your hammock out of the way so you can have a living space under your tarp, um, with this in your hammock it's difficult to pack your hammock away if you're using um, snake skins. So what you can do is you can just release the valve on your inflatable mat come to the other end again I'm, it would take more time over this when you're doing it for real I'm just doing this quickly just for the purpose of the video just get all that air out Once all the air's out, just secure the valve and then you can put a piece of paracord around there or a bungee cord. You can put that in a dry bag or back in your rucksack and then you can fold away your hammock in situ with the snake skins and then you've got all the air under your tarp so that you can uh, cook under there or whatever you want to do. And then when you come to sort of night time again, you just open up your hammock again, stick the roll in, unroll it, release the valve, and your bed's ready to go. Easy as that. I think that's quite a good system. Uh, it's yet to be proved in a proper field test, but I think that's going to work quite well. And uh, I'd like to hear your comments on what you think about that. If you've tried something similar, please let me know. Please leave a comment. Um, or just your, just your general views. I'd be interested to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.